tonight is another night out of the house. What exciting, tremendous places can I go to? Let's go to Kmart. We won't say it's because it's the only like shop open, but I'd say that is kind of true. So I have been organizing Christmas presents and birthday presents and stuff that I've like squirreled away throughout the year. I still have four birthdays before the end of the year and then another birthday early next year. It's blown my mind that we're in November. I don't even know if anybody is interested in seeing an Australian Kmart, but I figure if I see things that I consider to be interesting, then I can show other people and then the other people, which is you watching this, can be like, that's not interesting, that's trash, or wow, that's interesting, you have that, that's amazing. So <laughs> it could go either way. If you've never seen my face before, hi, I'm Catherine, by the way. Ben is my beloved husband. We've been married for over 20 years. I'm at Kmart, let's go in. And then if I buy anything, I'll do like a car, like show and tell and it will be tremendous, so yeah.
back and oh my goodness shopping's exhausting <laughs> no i'm just joking it's like because i want to show people stuff because i mentioned it you're trying to like film slowly you're trying to show the prices and you're thinking of other people like what might be a good idea for gifts for you know that other people might like and then I remember that I'm also a female. So I'm naturally drawn to just showing girl stuff. So that's pretty much all I took footage of. So they have Halloween stuff all reduced to $1 and then like exactly next to it, they have the Christmas stuff. So yes, it's Kmart, the place to be. I did buy one bag worth of items, which I said I would show you. I really love getting things for free or secondhand and honestly it blows my mind things that you can get from your buy nothing group <sighs> yeah obviously needed to get that out of my system the reason why I was bringing up like getting stuff for free or getting stuff from the buy nothing group getting stuff from op shops or whatever or discounted is like one Christmas shirt in Kmart I can't even remember it was like 10 or 12 dollars so we have a collection of Christmas shirts that we just save in our Christmas box and it's kind of a choose your own adventure at Christmas time they're all from the op shop for like two dollars or one dollar because you're gonna wear it for such a short amount of time anyhow wow so here's my bag of treasures and I feel like my camera angle is like really terrible and making me look like a large potato. So there is that. Okay, first thing I got, $4, is Christmas gift bow set, 40 bows. I do this for my children because especially my young children absolutely love wrapping presents they love to do it and they they love these types of bows i actually don't think i've ever bought bows before but just recently like my eight-year-old my six-year-old in particular have been like we really want bows we want bows on our presents so i have a stash of christmas paper that has probably lasted and will still last it's probably lasted for five years and probably has five more years because I use fabric sacks, like Christmas bags. But the wrapping paper is for like my husband and the kids and then put a bow on something, they will be very happy if they can do that, especially for our Secret Santa that we're doing this year, so. One of our traditions is making candy cane hot chocolates we really like doing this and we only do it in december and because i have a ginormously massive huge family i got a 40 pack of candy canes well no that's a lie because i got two of them so i have 80 candy canes you know i ended up just saying just buy it catherine you idiot for the grand sum of two dollars two dollars and it took me my whole like entire adult life to decide to finally just buy one of these things for two dollars to hang up our lego wreath that we have and i'm now gonna keep it for 300 years or they can bury me with it why do i debate over things that cost two dollars i don't know this will be a gift for one of my children i knew as soon as i saw it yeah favorite color is green he loves little tiny things like this he will be very happy and part of being in a large family sometimes is not getting caught up in the whole i will just buy 11 of everything one of my daughters asked many many months ago for her own cool bouncy ball can't go wrong with just a little mini says basketball so this, I think the gumball thing was $2.50. $2.50 to make my child very happy, well worth it. The bowl was $1.75. There is stuff in there that you can buy. I'm not really into just buying a ton of like, oh, just buy it, whatever, it's only $2 and just be like, 
nothing about it because it is important to be wise with your money and not just make a ton of impulse purchases and you don't want to fill your house with sea wrap <sighs> i'm going to enjoy my kinder surprise it's actually a beautiful night i'm just sitting in the kmart car park and i can hear the rainbow lorikeets all saying all of their thousands of good nights to each other if you wondered what a mother of 11 children is really like, how stressed she is, um, it's this much, which is not much. I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm happy. I just saw a boomer driving by while being on Facebook. Why would you do that? I mean, I know you're not watching my video, but if you happen to be driving a blue car at some time in an evening on a Monday night, and you're on Facebook, scrolling on Facebook while you're driving, check yourself. <laughs> yes, that's it. And if you watched my short where I was a thousand percent joking about saying my marriage was on the rocks and my husband's talking to other people, I'm very sorry, but that's like just my humor. We're very blissfully happy. Yeah, so sorry if I gave anybody like caused panic sorry because everything's fine and everything's good so now i'm officially going okay bye